guys, it's Stacy with Chapter Chicks, and today I am finally getting my review done of Chosen by PC and Kristen Cass. This is the third one in the House of Night series, so um, I'm not going to be spoiling it, but you know, you never know. You might not want to watch it if you're a freak about spoiling. So, okay, before I talk about this book, I heard a lot of bad reviews of this book before I read it like it just did not compare to the um the first two and I heard a lot of people just didn't like it and I'm going to explain why I think that is um every time you read a series when you're on the second and third or fourth whatever book whatever number book the author always does a recap of what happened in the first ones like it just they just bring up the important points that you needed to know just in case you miss it or you know things that you need to know to understand what's going on in this, the current book uh, recapping usually happens um, I say at the most five chapters but it's usually just like the first two and that's really annoying in a series it is because but it's it needs to be done because if it, you've taken a break from the series sometimes you forget little details that you might need to know so recapping is something that needs to be done but it's annoying and it just especially if you read them one after the other it's like always the first five chapters you know it's just gonna be a recap so that said the reason why I think so many people are disappointed in this book is because she recaps through the entire thing. It's like, it's basically, um, I mean, other things happen, but she recaps so much that it, it gets really annoying. And she even recaps the same event, I think three, there's one she does like three times. And it, it gets really annoying and you just, but with that being said, the ending of it is really good. I mean, it does, it, not that it picks up because it's got the same, it's still good, but all that recapping really needs to be taken out because it is really annoying. I think the re last recap I remember in this book is chapter 19. There's 27 chapters. So the last recap I remember or thought to take note of was in um, chapter 19. So it that can get it is very annoying it's kind of just like the first two rolled up it's not but other things happen but it's just recapping gets on your nerves and with that also with that being said I also really enjoyed it because you know there's events that happen that are really fun that go along with the House of Night series very well but I had very low expectations for this book so I can understand people who had high expectations for it and went and read it and then like oh my god it was basically just the first and second book over but but then at the end it's like oh and then this happened and I can understand that but I had low expectations I knew that there was gonna be something in it that was gonna be annoying because so many other people said it was so if you're like me and you have low expectations for the book and you read it it's gonna be pretty good it's not it's not the best in the series because of all the recapping but it all it is still good so don't have high expectations for it if you have low expectations for it it will still be good it's still a good read but like I said the recapping does get very annoying this one is it's kind of hard to rate on my scale just because the writing style is what is annoying with all the recapping, but the recapping is so annoying that I kind of want to bump it down on the scale just because it does not compare to the rest of them. So I'd say this book is a 6, meaning that the story was not as unique as the other ones. It still had some good, good quality plot things that happen in it, some really interesting stuff, but that recapping has got to go. I mean, whoever edited this needed to realize that there was way too much recapping going on. It really gets so annoying. But besides that, after you get, if you can ignore the recapping and the recaps don't get on your nerves, then it would be still a decent read. But I really hate recaps, but I know they're necessary for series, but not that much, especially recapping the same event over and over and over again. So... That's my book review on Chosen. Um, I am currently reading uh, Two Moon Princesses. It's a book I won on a Goodreads contest. 
So, I'm really behind on videos again, guys. I mean, I just I have like five of them that I need to do. So, I'm going to be doing one every other day again. And then I want to try this weekend to get my bookshelf tour up. I'm just telling you this because if I tell you guys this, then it kind of makes me have to do it more. Um, the next book I'll be reviewing is The Vampire Diaries 1 and 2. I decided just to do it. I, I count them as two in my challenge, but I'm going to do the book review as one because they kind of feel like the same book just because they're together and it flows right into it because he doesn't really <clears throat> or she doesn't really end the book you know what I mean it's just kind of like leaves you with a little cliffhanger and then it kind of just flows there's no time that's passed oh that's something I should say in this too these books there really isn't too much time that's passing in between them I think like in this one I think it was three months so it's like basically every book is a month so it kind of is that's kind of a little weird because you expect a little time to go by just because so much is happening and you don't expect all that to happen so fast because if I had all that stuff happen to me within a period of three months, I think I'd go insane. And you would want, you think you want a little bit of time in between them, but they don't. They pick up right after each other, which is not bad, but still. And, um, what was I saying before that? Oh, yeah, I'll be doing Vampire Diaries next because, um, somebody requested that I do that. I'll say their name in the video. I don't remember it right now, but somebody requested it, so I'm going to go ahead and do the Vampire Diaries ones next. And that's my book review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, I'm Stacy with Chapter Chicks, and this chapter was for you.